Hi, my name is Renda with Henna Garden Events and Entertainment. I'm here today to talk about how to create a successful 5K event. We're going to go over three main areas, the logistics, the vendors, the staff and volunteers. So to start, you want to select the date and time that will work well weather-wise and for the demographics of the folks you're expecting to come to your event. If it's a family event, you're going to want to do it on the weekends. You want to do it depending where you live in the right month. I would also suggest not doing it on holidays just because families tend to go away and you want to see what else is going on in your city. You don't want to compete with the beta breakers, the strictly bluegrass festival in San Francisco or Carnival. Those are very large events, but you want to have a good chance of getting folks that might be interested in a similar event come to your event instead of the other event. So check the calendars, see what happens annually and then take it from there. Find the right location for your 5K. Outdoors, in a public park, you wanna to check to see availability and what's the right space for your group of people you're expecting. There's a lot of options here. We have 222 parks just in San Francisco and they may need something that's more convenient for more people to get to. I did a 5K at Coyote Point in San Mateo and the park offered so much more that was already there. Tables, benches, canopies, multiple public bathrooms, parking, park rangers. It was really the right decision to make for this event, to do one-stop shopping at a park that offers more services. We decided that we really wanted to have something that fits in our budget and we wanted to increase the size of this event. So we did heavy public relations, social media, got on radio stations, and did the old fashioned postering, going from cafe to store, the community that this particular event was involved with, and had our poster listed with the QR code so people could see it. And this event, it was the most diverse audience that we've ever had. We also had the most sponsors, uh, whether it's a nonprofit, individuals, uh, businesses, restaurants, food particular to the folks that are at the event. Uh, we had the most great variety that we have ever had. We had organic fruits donated. That was amazing. So like I say, a closed mouth never gets fed. So open your mouth and ask for what you want. The worst that can happen is they won't respond to you or they'll say no. Give yourself plenty of time, at least six months to start preparing. So it's an easeful event and you could adjust things as you go along. If you have a DJ or some sort of performance, it's always good to have people who are performing or heavily involved with the event do a walkthrough. And then again, a few days before the event, run through the event in your mind. We're having set up crew from 6 a.m. The race is starting at 10 a.m. So you have the sequence in your head of what's next and make sure you have a backup plan just in case you may need it. We decided instead of having volunteer photographers this year, we hired professional photographers, which made a difference. The posts on social media was the most successful it's ever been. In addition to a photographer, we needed security. We had a vendor who provided tables, chairs. We had to get a stage somewhere else. Uh, we were lucky enough to have really good weather. We didn't need extra canopies and we didn't need heaters. And this is in line with when are you planning your event? Make sure it's nice, comfortable weather. You'll get more attendees. There was staff from this organization and they were interacting with the guests and the, the speakers and having a great time. And they also had a good amount of dedicated volunteers helping to show people which direction to run in. So we had people stationed at crossing areas where some of the runners could go multiple different ways. This can still be problematic, yet for the most part, you do your best to get people going the, the same route. 
Then there was also other events happening on the same day. So you always have to make sure people who are coming to your event know the name of your event and exactly where it is located in the park. The thing you want when you create events like this is for people to have a great experience. They remember the unifying of people, the good vibe. That's what people want, a sense of belonging and that they contributed to a positive event. Through trial and error at this 5K, this 5K went from mediocre to spectacular. At this event, it raised more money than it ever has in previous years. So next time you wanna create a 5K, start early, have your plan written down, hire the right help, and bring in volunteers, and make sure you have lots of perks, and especially medals and trophies for the kids and the families. Make sure you bring in talent that's in line with the cause for your 5K. When you have all of the right ingredients in the stew, you're bound to make a really good stew. Thank you for listening, and if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns or would like to hire an event planner, leave your comments below. My email and contact information is right below. Thanks, and hope to see you again.